let's check out um, Keeping Up with Starreal Kafka Elegance Unmask. For those of you guys who know, I already put, I uh, I managed to pull um, Kafka lot of about on the 9th, which is like what, 1, 2, 3, 4 days ago. So I'll be checking out this video to see how um, how, uh, how her game, how her gameplay is and hopefully they, they add some tips on what are the best, the best, the best builds, the best, um, and what, the best team comp and what not. I, I yes I know there are uh, there are other YouTubers and streamers and everything like that but I just want to see what what is their what is Hoyubus' take on um, building um, Kafka. So let's not waste any time and just um, check check this video out. Today's featured star is brave, elegant, and fashionable. But that doesn't make up for being a uh, morally bankrupt fugitive now, does it? <laughs> she uses her spirit whisper to ensnare hearts and minds, trapping her prey in a web of lies and deceit. And having courageously escaped that web myself firsthand? <laughs> I should know. We're talking about none other than Kafka, the most dangerous member of the Stellaron Hunters. I should check out the, the, the Blade um, video as well. In today's episode, we've invited Miss Himiko, a follower of Akaveli, who is rumored to have had several encounters with Kafka. Hi everyone, I'm Himiko. As for my encounters with Kafka, they were little more than footnotes to a bigger journey. <sighs> Only valiant heroes like you or me could ever cross paths with Kafka and come out on top. Ah, <laughs> they told me you had a good sense of humor, Albert. Oh, you're too kind! <laughs> now, according to her wanted notice, Kafka is a lightning-type character following the path of Nihility. Mm -hmm. She's a stranger to fear, but has no trouble scaring the heck out of her enemies. Her basic attack yeah, deals woman. lightning damage yeah. to a single target. When using her skill, Kafka wields her sword and deals increased lightning damage to a single target, as well as a set amount of damage to adjacent enemies. Mm. If the target is afflicted with DOT, they immediately receive additional damage as a set percentage of their current active DOT. Ah, as if her spirit okay. whisper wasn't enough, Kafka is also highly skilled with various weapons. If she feels the need for weapons, perhaps her spirit whisper isn't so great after all. Speaking of weapons, Miss Himiko, do you smell gunpowder? <laughs> Explosives are my specialty. <laughs> <clears throat> when an ally uses a basic attack on an enemy, Kafka launches a follow-up attack and deals lightning damage to the target. There is also a chance of inflicting the target with the same shock effect as her ultimate for a set number of turns, which can only be triggered once per turn. Okay. During exploration, use Kafka's technique, Mercy is Not Forgiveness, to instantly attack all enemies Man. within a set range. Love it. After entering battle, Love that she deals us. lightning damage to all enemies, and there's a chance that all enemies will become shocked for a set number of turns. All right. When Kafka unleashes her ultimate, she dispatches her enemies with the graceful Twilight Trill. In addition to dealing lightning damage to all enemies, there's also a chance of inflicting enemies with shock, as well as immediately dealing additional damage to currently shocked targets. Shock lasts for a set number of turns. Okay. After unlocking a specific trace, when Kafka unleashes her ultimate, she immediately deals damage to enemies by triggering their current active DOT. Okay. For wanted criminals, dealing with unexpected no. battles is just part of their routine. An ally makes the first move, launching a basic attack and inflicting wind shear on the enemy. With her talent in effect, Kafka swiftly delivers a follow-up attack, inflicting the enemy with shock. Okay. She then uses her skill, dealing damage in addition to triggering both wind shear and shock damage. Ah, Classic okay. Kafka tactic, leveraging the DOT effects that her allies inflict on the enemy. Before they can react, Kafka unleashes her ultimate on the enemy, strapping them in a web of flying bullets and lightning strikes. So yeah, this is the, um, Complete um, annihilation. He is basically All those flashy um, moves uh, seem like overkill, if you beefy. ask me. Hmm, Miss Himiko, mind if I ask what the beef is between you two? 
Why take kindly to someone who holds up your train journey? Not the whole story? Well, there's the unethically implanting a Stellaron, manipulating people's lives, speaking in riddles. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All that unwarranted attention. That sounds terrible, right, Trailblazers? And that's the end of the video. The next video that I'll be checking up is um, Keeping Up with Star Rail, Blade, and, Im and Immortal's Beauty. Listen to this. Sometimes the fiercest currents are hidden beneath the calmest waters. And for today's featured star, nothing could be closer to the truth. He's a man who's passed through fire and back again, his soul concealed beneath a stone-cold gaze. Mm -hmm. Today, we're exploring the secrets of the notorious Stellaron hunter and wanted criminal, Blade. And we're out of time already. What? See you the next one, folks. Hello, Albert. Miss Kafka, please. I, I didn't mean to offend the Stellar no. Hunters. <laughs> really? Albert. Listen to me. Continue with the program. A uh, great idea, Miss Kafka. Blade is a and that's how I would see He wields a fragmented <laughs> sword that cuts through all obstacles in his way. I mean, if you, his if basic you know how um, sword Kafka deals wind damage a to a single yeah. target. Consume a skill point and a set amount of HP to use Blade's skill and initiate Hellscape, which increases damage dealt for a set number of turns. Using this skill does not regenerate energy and won't end the turn. While Hellscape is active, Blade's basic attack is enhanced to Forest of Swords. Forest of Swords consumes a set amount of HP and deals wind damage to an enemy and adjacent targets based on Blade's oh. attack and max HP. Blade's skill cannot be retriggered while Hellscape is active. And using his skill or enhanced basic attack when his HP is too low, we'll reduce it to one. Got it. His combat is easy on the eye, but it comes at a cost. In the form of work-related injuries? <laughs> exactly. Luckily, Blady doesn't need to sue. <laughs> when Blade loses HP, he gains a charge which lasts for a set number of turns. Mm. When charges are fully stacked, Blade unleashes a follow-up attack on all enemies and recovers a set amount of HP. The Dang. damage dealt is based on his attack and max HP. But in other words, whenever he receives damage for about the five times, attack. power comes with a price. But that price can become power in turn. And during exploration, mm -hmm. use Blade's technique Karma Wind to instantly attack an enemy. After entering battle, some of Blade's HP is consumed, and he deals wind damage based on a set percentage of its max HP to all enemies. When Blade unleashes his ultimate, his inner turmoil is released as his sword lays bare the line between life and death. His current HP is set to 50% of his max HP, and he deals wind damage to a single target as well as damaging adjacent enemies. Damage dealt is based on Blade's attack, max HP, and the cumulative lost HP he sustained during the battle. Mm -hmm. Remember that this cumulative HP loss has a limit, and the count is reset after every use of his ultimate. Blade may never witness the paradise on the opposite shore. But he's generous when it comes to sending others. Blade consumes his own HP, casts his skill to initiate Hellscape, consumes his HP a second time, and sweeps the enemy away with his forest of swords. And the greater the enemy resistance, the more charges Blade accumulates. All attacks that fail to defeat Blade only make him stronger. When charges are fully stacked, Blade okay, brandishes his fight. sword and launches a follow-up attack against all enemies, restoring a set amount of HP in the process. Yeah. He then uses his ultimate, reducing his HP to 50% of his max HP and sending all enemies to the opposite shore. <laughs> a non-refundable, all-inclusive one-way ticket to paradise. Bingo. Miss Kafka, were you satisfied with today's program? Very. Although it did kind of sound like someone had a gun to your head. Come on, really? Everything I said was straight from the heart. Including the warm welcome you gave me? Uh -oh. Straight from the heart? I'm glad to hear it. So you're interested in paradise. 
The opposite shore. Perhaps I can arrange for Blade to... Uh, <coughs> on second thought, uh, I fancy a staycation this year. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Kafka. So yeah, I think that's pretty much my reaction to um, Blade's keeping up with Star Rail. And I think that's pretty much um, all of the videos. Oh. Um, there are which, wait, wait, there's one more video, there's one more video. I believe it's, um, Luca. Yeah, I believe it's Luca, hold on. Well, since we're already right, might as well check out, um, Luca's, um, Keeping Up With Starway video as well. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Keeping Up With Star Rail and the finals of the Boulder Town Fight Club's 1,759th Fighting King Challenge Tournament! Our next competition is hotly anticipated, with town oh, folk practically falling either. over each oh. other to get a view of the action for everyone's favorite red-headed fighting machine! Please welcome the 25-time winner, Malt Hammerville Warrior and Peerless Boulder Champion! Luca. Okay. But that's a good way of Before the fight the, begins, uh, the let's take another look at what makes Luca the crowd favorite. Luca is a physical type character following the path of the Hillity, whose iconic mechanical arm is a nightmare for his enemies. If you're thinking about causing trouble in the underworld, <laughs> I suggest you think twice. Luca's basic attack, direct punch, deals physical damage to a single target. Consume a skill point and use his skill, Lacerating Fist, to deal physical damage to a single target with a high chance of inflicting bleed for a set number of turns. Okay. When combat begins, Luca possesses one stack of Fighting Will. After launching his basic attack or skill, he obtains an additional stack up to a maximum of four. When Luca possesses okay. two or more stacks, his basic attack is enhanced from Direct Punch to Sky Shatter Fist. Oh, okay. Four hit combo consisting of three direct punches and a rising uppercut, all of which deal oh, physical you can. to a single target. Under the effect of his talent, if Luca's rising uppercut hits an enemy already inflicted with bleed, the enemy sustains additional damage as a set percentage of the original damage. Okay. After unlocking a specific trace, when using his enhanced basic attack, there's a chance that every hit of direct punch will grant Luca an additional hit. Ah, this yeah, trace does not apply to additional hits. During exploration, use Luca's technique Anticipator to immediately attack an enemy. After entering battle, Luca obtains Fighting Will and deals physical damage to a random enemy. There's a chance of inflicting the same bleed effect as his skill on the enemy. Okay. When Luca unleashes his ultimate, Coup de Gras, his fiery spirit gras? sets the battlefield alight. What In addition to obtaining Fighting Will, there's a high chance that the enemy target receives increased damage for a set number of turns. Luca will then deal physical damage to the said target. So it's a single it's target. Um, and these two are fresh single out of target ultimate? Okay. Let the fight commence! Luca gains fighting will as he steps into the ring. Mm -hmm. He strikes first without hesitation, dealing damage to his opponent using his skill and inflicting them with bleed, okay. all while obtaining another stack of fighting will. But his opponent doesn't take that line down, responding with a fierce counterattack. Luca receives the counterattack with two stacks of fighting will, returning the favor with an enhanced basic attack, triggering his opponent's bleed damage in the process. Let's okay. <laughs> speed! Hey, oh, Luca wins. <laughs> Three cheers for the winner of the 1,759th fighting chip. Uh, hold on a second. It seems like the opponent's trainer wants a piece of the action. Man, you okay with this? Ooh, it looks like Luca's gesturing to the whole team, and he's telling the ref to stay out of it. Okay. This is about to get. Woo! Luca unleashes a textbook ultimate! He inflicts his opponent with vulnerability and gains two stacks of fighting will. Against all odds, the other fighter is still on their feet yeah, and okay. able to strike back. Luca uses his skill once again, bad, inflicting huh? damage and bleed in one fell swoop. His opponent springs into a counterattack, but he's fighting against the current. Luca unleashes his enhanced basic attack, Sky Shatter Fist, delivering a hail of brutal punches to his opponent, already suffering from vulnerability. Overcut! Luca triggers bleed damage and sends his opponent early to the canvas. It's over! Good night! 
the warrior, the peerless champion, Victory Burns Red once again. A man whose strength lies not in the unfeeling cold of his iron fist, but in the flaming warmth of his fearless heart. Put your hands together for Luca, champion of the 1,759th Fighting King Challenge. It's party time in Boulder Town tonight. <clears throat> a reminder to our younger viewers, these are professionally trained fighters. Go to your homework. Lord, the, 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 the last comment at the end over there. Okay. And that's pretty much my reaction to um, Luca skipping up the stuff.